386th contact, Thursday, April 28, 2005, 11.25 p.m. Patar says then the following is to be said, which I actually should have said a long time ago as you know, the center is located at a place in which, from time to time, particularly strong earth electromagnetic vibrations make themselves noticeable, which strongly influence the body, the psyche and the consciousness of the human being, whereby his impulses in regard to thoughts and feelings shift into uncontrolled courses and can degenerate into exaggerated and uncontrolled actions. Strong electromagnetic fields from electronic devices, and so forth, as well as from the Earth's magnetism, therefore also have effects in such a way that the thoughts and emotions and the state of the psyche of the human beings become impaired. Especially strong electromagnetic vibrations can very strongly influence the body, the psyche and the consciousness of the human being, whereby his impulses, in regard to thoughts and feelings, shift into uncontrolled courses and can degenerate into exaggerated and uncontrolled actions. If such strong vibrations arise, then that can lead to unpleasantly aggressive or depressive excesses with regard to uncontrolled behavior of the human being, which is why he then must, in every regard, greatly increase the degree of control he maintains upon himself. Were no attention paid to that, then unpleasant and degenerate problems in interpersonal relationships and in dealings with and among human beings, well as aggression and depression, can be the result. In addition, I would like to explain that greatly strengthened vibrations have already been in evidence for about eight months which can lead to unpleasant excesses in regard to uncontrolled behavior of the human being, which is why you should explain the phenomenon to the group members and they shall be requested to keep themselves under greatly increased control in every regard. Were no attention paid to that, then unpleasant and degenerate problems in interpersonal relationships and in dealings with and among human beings can be the result. Billy says unpleasant. Naturally I will raise your explanation at the May AGM. The electromagnetic vibrations from electronic devices as well as strong earth magnetic vibrations are indeed really not harmless, because hallucinations, aggression, depression, low morale and discord indeed also the phenomena of ghostly apparitions can even be provoked which have no connection with acute or stored mental vibrations respectively fluidal powers rather are based as a rule on fantasies and imaginations which are normally simply caused by states of angst the basis for this can really be very strong electromagnetism for example by way of electronic devices and so forth, or it can simply arise as a result of a strong magnetic field of the earth. Extremely low-pitched sounds from electronic devices and other things as well as from nature, which cannot be perceived by the human ear, so-called infrasound, can cause strong vibrations, in the case of objects and with the human body and all its organs, such as, for instance, also in the eyes. The consequences of that are hallucinations and panic attacks as well as depression, discord and negative moral states, because the thoughts and feelings as well as the consciousness succumb to confusion as a result of the vibrations. In the said form, there is a connection among infrasound, electromagnetism, and ghostly apparitions. Infrasound and electromagnetism can trigger the internal attack and escape mechanism of the human being as well as panic attacks and hallucinations, and so forth, and it is especially the case if one is in a spooky or weird looking place, in a depressed mood or in a mystical situation, and so forth. That which is decisive in this regard is that the sense of the human beings is under great tension whereby he perceives the environment and his situation, and so forth, as a threat. In this state, then, ghostly apparitions, can be seen or strange, ghostly sounds can be heard, or unreal touches can be felt, and so forth. Strong electromagnetic fields have effects on the human body and its organs, which therefore also includes the brain and consciousness as well as the thoughts, emotions and the psyche which lead to hallucinations, whereby the human being sees, hears and feels things which are not real. Electromagnetism and infrasound produce an effect on the human brain in such a way, that, for example, 
the feeling is created that someone strange is present, a ghost, and so forth, because he cannot be seen, or can be dimly seen as a result of the imagination. Faces and figures can also be seen and sounds as well as unreal breathing, and so forth can be heard, or, in the same way, unreal touches can be felt. Thereby the human being can become increasingly insecure and anxious, because the activity of fantasy and the imagination increases and everything is considered absolutely real, as for example in a similar manner to the way human beings appear who believe that they have been abducted and examined or impregnated by extraterrestrials and later have their fetuses stolen, which, in regard to pregnancy, naturally only applies to women. With all of these human beings, fantasy and the imagination, so to speak, go mad, whereby everything is of such a strong nature that the fantasy images and the imagination appear absolutely real, all caused by infrasound, or by strong electromagnetic fields. And human beings who succumb to this, consider everything to be real, and believe that it is truthful reality, in such a way that, consequently, even polygraphs and interviews under hypnosis can be withstood. Patar says this actually corresponds to reality. Translator's notes for Goop prefers the word, vibrations, in regard to electromagnetic frequencies etc., as opposed to the conventional English use of the word, oscillations. Also the German prefix, electro, is ambiguous and can mean electronic and or electrical. Similarly, Guratan, can be translated as devices, appliances, apparatuses, etc. Please note at the time of this contact, April 2005, Billy and Patar were still concealing many of the facts behind the telenotically induced electromagnetic mind control, alien abduction, experiences, behind accusations of conventional schizophrenia, attention seeking, etc. Only some two years later, on Billy's 70th birthday, February 3, 2007, was more of the truth revealed. The End